What's that? Seahawks receiver Tyler Lockett is asking about the Christmas ornament hanging around the neck of little Rennie Olson. I asked my parents to turn it into a necklace. Why? Because I wanted to. Why? <laughs> to show Russell. She just loves Russell Wilson. The now six-year-old missed her chance to meet with the Seahawks quarterback at Seattle Children's Hospital years ago while awaiting a heart transplant. Where's Russell? Thankfully for Rennie, Make-A-Wish and the Seahawks wanted to make up for that missed opportunity. She's been through so much and she has climbed out of the abyss. To be able to have this opportunity, because you know, this was her wish. She, she came up with this. Her moment with Wilson will wait for just a moment. First, how Rennie and nine other Wish kids got the ultimate Seahawks experience at CenturyLink Field. Johansson, that's me. I'm the new uh, middle linebacker here in Seattle. For Marcus Johansson, his own yeah. personalized locker made him feel like a member of his favorite team. There's my jersey with uh, my favorite player, Bobby Wagner. A little helmet here uh, where I can get some autographs. The 18-year-old traveled here from Denmark, a long trip but nothing compared to his journey battling brain cancer. I had to go undergo chemotherapy for uh, the whole summer. Surgery got rid of the tumor. Make-A-Wish stepped up to honor his courage. He could not contain his excitement while running out of the tunnel. Seeing little Rennie embrace the moment nearly brought her father to tears. She's uh, pretty amazing. Strongest person I know, aren't you, baby? You have a tiger? You have a tiger inside you? So just now? Yeah. The Wish Kids leaving their mark, painting the Seahawks logo at midfield. It's totally crazy, man. Why yeah. you come out the tunnel with that energy? Yeah. Then Marcus got to share his favorite Seahawks memories yeah. with legend Lofa Tatupu. Where he is spun, spun around like two, three times and just oh. threw it up to Doc Baldwin, yeah. Marcus is a special kid. His, uh, his knowledge of football far exceeds mine. And you know, I played for many years. But just to see a smile on his face means a lot to me. Pete, I'm coming to take your place. <laughs> Then into the media room. Looking good. <laughs> to face questions from pressing reporters. Tell me your favorite thing about running through the tunnel. I'm just here so I won't get fined. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Even a driving rain on game night could not dampen the excitement of the Wish Kids. Are you ready to be on the, the big screen in a minute? Who were celebrated on the field before kickoff. Oh, you see on the, look, it's us. That's you. And up on the big screen. Our whole experience up there and then we wave to the crowd. It would only get better. Oh. Boom. Give him knuckles. Yeah. Bang. At Seahawks headquarters. <laughs> the That's only, a... only Bobby White in New Jersey in Denmark. Huh? Yeah, for sure. As the Wish Kids got time with Coach Carroll and the players. Look at that. Uh -huh. Go. On, Even catching a few passes from Russell Wilson. I was so nervous when I met him. I couldn't even speak. I smelled. Boom. <laughs> this is one of a kind experience. I'll never, probably never do anything like this in my life again. Then came the meeting, years in the making. When you quit the club, you can Can I be a YouTuber? I got a YouTube channel now. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I just started it, so you can follow me now. I tried to, but it didn't show up. Okay. A little girl who in many ways is lucky to be alive, connecting with a quarterback who inspired her. I'll give you a hug. To keep fighting. Bye. I love your shoes. 